Wow, she is amazing. Oh no, run! Whoa, <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You made that, that Palma thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palma. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And, and I need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm going to use the back route. Throw them off our trail. See you in a few. Splitting up doesn't feel like it's going to get us anywhere. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I'm offering to be the bait. <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it. What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Big difference you're trying to spot is. Please do it quick. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly. Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water, we can aim for that. Got it is. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Hey, hey, Ivor, I dare you to poke it. Uh, no thank you. Even though it does look completely shut down. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, 
her creation nearly ended up destroying this world. But considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Help can sometimes be found in the strangest places. <clears throat> you calling me strange? What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Don't worry, they can't get in. It'll be fine. Yeah, I also thought they couldn't make it down here, and look how that worked out for us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. Wow, that is a highly elaborate way to make a waterfall. Can't be too careful with water around here. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. 
It is useless to defy us. I don't want to fight you. What you want doesn't interest Palma. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! and Petra. No. I... That's awful. Like, I don't know if it helps at all, but I remember something while I was... part of Pama that I think was important. It was tall, glowing red lights. It's like... It's like a fuzzy dream. And I can try to remember more if you want, but it's making my headache even worse. It was just so weird. It's like being connected to everyone else's brains at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. Why is this Harper so important? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully help Petra too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure that Harper is still in her right mind? If somebody is alone for a really long time, their brain changes and not for the better. Harper isn't crazy. She's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True. Very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? I guess we shouldn't judge her based on how weird the stuff in her place is. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Definitely. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. 